so hello and welcome back to the new video of the maven tutorial series so till now we have covered uh, what is maven uh, yes we've seen uh, the softwares that are required we've seen uh, covered life cycles and basic maven commands so uh, now we will see the maven dependencies in this video and on next video onwards we will be act creating an actual project and we'll see all this theory that we have learned till this video uh, how we can implement in that uh, create uh, or the actual project okay so we'll see uh, the maven dependent dependencies in this video okay so first thing maven simplifies the creation and the management of the dependency by using a centralized repository that contains a vast collection of open source libraries and framework to create and manage dependencies in maven we have to follow these steps okay so uh, we'll see the uh, step by step how we can create or manage the dependencies in the maven project okay so first step is define the dependencies okay so the first step is to define the dependencies in the project's pom.xml file so as i said as i told you in the previous video also uh, pom.xml file is very important for the maven projects this is the file where all those uh, project related dependencies and uh, are being defined in this file if you if you forgot or if you not define any dependencies that you have used inside your project and you don't mention over here inside the pom.xml then the your project will not work uh, since that dependency will be not implemented in inside your build okay so the uh, this file is important and you have to de uh, define the dependencies first inside this file itself okay uh, the, the pom.xml file uh, is an xml file that contains the project configuration information including the dependencies so uh, it also contains the configuration information of the your project also okay so to define a dependencies you need to specify the group id the artifact id and a version of the dependencies okay uh, for example we'll see one example over here you can see one snapshot of the dependency uh, for example to add a spring framework dependency to your project you need to add the following pom.xml so imagine one project you are building and you are, you are trying to add the spring framework in your uh, project then you have to write this many line of code uh, to tell your uh, project pom.xml file or, or maven that you are using the spring framework and add this dependency in my project okay so uh, the root tag will be dependencies inside which a dependency tag is there and inside this uh, dependency tag you create all uh, one dependency itself okay so as you can see uh, we need group id artifact id and the version of the dependency so we first define group id tag and we'll write all dot spring framework we def uh, uh, we tell the maven that we uh, this is the spring framework that we are really trying to use you know in my project and the artifact id for the spring framework is spring uh, slash core and the version of this uh, version of which spring version you are trying to use in your project we will specify that version also over here and this is how you you create or define a dependency in your pom.xml file and maven will understand that hey you are trying to use spring framework for your project okay let me add this dependency in your project okay moving ahead uh, how to resolve the dependency okay <coughs> once the dependency is defined now you know how to define the depend dependency in the pom.xml file maven will automatically download and resolve the dependency from the central repository maven checks if the dependency is already downloaded in the local repository and if not the it it downloads from the central repository so there are two repositories are there uh, one is local repository and one is central repository okay so local repository is where uh, your all the dependencies we resides or downloaded dependency and the central repository is where all those uh, uh, dependencies are there and it first the maven will check okay so maven will check okay so you need free spring framework uh, it will check in the local repository whether spring framework is da already downloaded over there or not if it is not downloaded in the local repository it will go inside the central rep repository and download the spring framework and add this depend dependence dependent dependency in your project for the local repository okay so this is how the dependencies are resolved in the 
maven okay so dependencies dependency scope okay so dependencies in maven can be have different scopes okay so scopes are different which determine when and where the dependency is being used okay so you define the dependencies you resolve the dependencies now we have to define the scope of the dependence uh, dependency okay the four main scope are compile provided runtime and test the scope can be specified in the dependency declaration so where we de declare the de dependency inside this dependency tag for example to specify the dependency is only required for the testing you would add the following pom.xml so imagine one testing tool okay so junit is a testing tool uh, you require for the testing uh, of the java project so you are trying to add the dependency for the junit so think about it you when you require the junit obviously when the testing phase come of the uh, testing phase will come for your project then and then only you require junit right so you can define that scope of test here inside the dependency tag itself there and by telling the maven that hey use this junit framework only for the testing phase okay so you are defining the scope you are limiting the scope of that framework in the testing phase itself okay so these uh, this is how your dependency scope is being resolved okay so next comes how to manage that dependency okay so maven project says maven provides several goals to manage the dependencies including uh, adding and removing or updating the dependencies for example to update a dependency you can use the following command okay so uh, maven does this uh, thing of managing the dependencies automatically okay so <clears throat> it will add it will remove it will update your dependencies automatically okay so to update your dependencies uh, you can use this following command mvn version colon use latest version okay so you are telling the maven that hey uh, do one thing update all those dependencies to them to their lo latest versions okay so if you are using three dependencies maven will go and uh, update all those three dependencies to the latest version and it will do automatically okay so this will update all the project dependency to the latest version available in the central repository okay in summary uh, in short defining and managing dependencies in maven is simple process that is mostly done through the project's pom.xml file again i'm saying pom.xml file is very important and maven provides a centralized repository and several goals to the simplify the management of dependencies in java based projects okay okay so we'll see uh, now the types of dependencies now till now we have covered how the dependencies works what are the different phases of dependencies now we'll see types of dependencies all right so in maven there are several types of dependencies that can be defined in the project's form.xml file these these dependent dependencies will specify the libraries or the framework that is being used in our projects all right so first is compile dependencies these dependencies are required for the project to compile and build correctly maven download these dependencies and add them to the project's class path these dependencies dependencies are also packed packaged with the project's output jar or war file okay so these are the early early dependencies that we require first to compile your project these dependencies which are required are comes inside the compile dependencies but then are provided dependency dependent dependencies these dependencies are required for the project to compile but they are expected to provided by the runtime environment okay uh, so example of such dependencies are servlets uh, api and jsp api these dependencies are not packaged in the project's jar okay so the compiled dependencies are packaged with the jar and but the provided dependencies are not packaged with the jar or war file whatever you file you are creating okay so next is runtime dependencies these dependencies are required for the project to run but not required for the project to compile okay so first uh, two dependencies that we have seen those are required for uh, early okay so when your project compiles the, that time these dependencies are required but after compilation when the project will run for those we have different dependencies that dependencies come under the runtime dependencies right so these dependencies are added uh, <coughs> to the class path at runtime but they are not packaged again these are also not packaged with the jar or war file <coughs> now your project run okay 
So now come test dependencies. So which are required for the testing purposes. Okay, so these dependencies are required for the project's tests, but not required for the project to compile or run. As I said, there, there is no use of these test dependencies for the compilation part and the running part. Okay, so these, these, these dependencies are added in the class paths when running tests. But again, these are also not packaged with the jar or war file. Okay, so next comes system dependencies. These dependencies are not available in the central Ma Maven repository and are required to be manually installed on the local machine. To include the system dependencies in the project, you must specify the path of to the dependency in the jar file. Okay, so <clears throat> these are the dependencies that are not provided in the Maven central repository. You have to do the, these tasks manually if you are using any system dependencies. You, this is the thing that you have to do manually. There is no uh, way to do this automated or oh, automated manner. Okay, so next is import dependencies. These dependencies are used to import the dependencies from other Maven projects. When importing a dependency, Maven will use imported projects from .xml file to download and manage the dependency. Okay, so if you are trying to use another Maven projects dependencies, so <coughs> at this time import dependencies will come into the picture okay so imagine when you have one project and you are trying to you have you want the another maven projects dependencies so import dependencies will come into the picture they will go inside that projects from .xml files they will see uh, what are the what are all dependencies that the other project is depending uh, uh, de uh, applying it, it will get those all dependencies and it will automatically add those depend dependencies in your project so these are types of the import import dependencies import dependencies okay so in summary understanding the different types of dependencies in maven is essential to properly manage the project dependencies and ensure that the project compiles runs and tests correctly so why i'm taking this theoretical lectures first you have to understand what are yeah, you know what is dependencies, but you don't know what is compiled dependencies, power dependencies. You first you have to understand these are types of the dependencies. Then and then only you can go into go and create a <coughs> Maven project and work on it. Okay, so I guess this is the <coughs> pretty much theory or theoretical part that you want to understand before you sh get your hand dirty on the Maven projects. Okay, so on the next video onwards, we'll be creating our new maven projects using intellij ID or uh, eclipse any id uh, that i can choose so you you also can choose any id or uh, those ids are uh, come with maven integration in inbuilt just a uh, visualization part will be different okay so thank you for watching this video and i will see you in the next one